Okay, we're back on uh, this carrier 59TN, uh, which we have to, which I have to put a uh, uh, intake trap on. Well, there's our intake trap. Let me put this down for a second here. So there's the intake trap, and. That's how it comes. So, and this part number is it's a total line part number three two eight one five four dash seven zero one exterior trap kit. So, what I gotta do is I thought I was gonna take this apart, but I'm not going to uh, I'm gonna put the trap right here as long as it's in line somewhere it doesn't have to be at a 90 as long as I can put it in line somewhere so what I'm gonna do is this put this yay right there and then I'll have my trap coming off the bottom this will come off the bottom like so and what I have to do is get this I'll bring it around the furnace and actually put a T right here I'm going to cut this back here and cut this back here put a T in here and that will be my drain and put a little stand pipe here just like this kind of sort of so let me get it cut apart and put together um, and we'll go from there Okay, got it in. I mean, it took a bit, it took me about two minutes to get that in. And what I'll do is I'll take my line here, run it over here, run it across, and I'll get it over, I don't know, to the side of the furnace over there, and then I'll bring it down to the drain. here, run it across, and down here. And I don't want to tie it in with that. This is for the furnace. Don't want to tie it in there. So, tie it in right here. The camera's having a hard time focusing. I need a new camera. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I'll tie it in right there. Okay, let me get that done. Okay, now we got our trap in. Got it all plumbed up. And then what we did is we cut in our condensate down here. A coupling there, there, and then Ran our PVC up and it just drains into the PVC. You don't have to tie it in tight because there's no reason to. So, and this is to prevent any kind of moisture because what was happening, let me take this door off. What was happening it's getting rust right here not rust here but rust over here and we're getting a little moisture on our gas valve as you can see up there and it was getting rust at the bottom of the furnace I was getting rust on the door And that is all because of the moisture coming in through the intake pipe right there optimal it would have been the intake pipe should have came in the side that's where they should be um, all the installs we do now none of them are tied into the top 
they're all tied into the side just because of this problem especially on the the um, carrier and fitting modulating furnace so that's to prevent that issue this per this strap has dual purpose you can use it on the exhaust not in this application you can use it in a horizontal application where you can vent down and there is a kit you can buy to plug up the trap in the unit itself right there and the kit comes with plugs we remove this trap or it comes with a different trap or maybe no I can't remember I think it, we use this same trap we plug up the condensate hole and then we use this trap on a on certain configurations you know not used all the time only used in certain situations that we can do that with these furnaces um, where we can actually install this sitting as it is and vent down through the floor and uh, you vent down through the floor take it to the lowest point put the trap on the bottom and then you run a pitch pipe up and there is a kit you can buy to plug the holes on this this factory trap to allow use of that trap on a exhaust so something to keep in mind with these carrier ICP Bryant's panes um, there are different uh, situations you, you'll run into installing a furnace where this isn't you can't do this configuration of any where you have to vent down mobile home applications uh, some of carriers furnaces are uh, rated for mobile home use and you can vent down with it so uh, just kind of keep that in mind uh, but this is just to prevent moisture in the intake so before it gets to this point here the moisture drops down here so that's uh, kind of the conclusion of this one and this is on a let's see 59 and TN6A 120 and this is carrier infinity and this is matched up with the carrier heat pump so that's it for this one guys thanks like and subscribe